Henny. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good, good. And we're here to discuss about the Come Up 3 that's yeah. coming out October 31st. Yeah, Halloween. Right? Fest, yeah. So before we get into that, tell me about yourself. I'm um, just a, you know, regular kid from New Haven, you know, trying to show everybody how to make it in the rap game or anything you're doing just by investing in yourself and just believing in yourself, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm saying better like that be entrepreneurs and not just work like you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. for somebody else yeah so tell me a bit about your upbringing um, I came from the projects from West Hills I was born there my dad got killed there and then we moved out and when we moved out we didn't have no type of source of income you know what I'm saying my mom was you know single you know what I'm saying so came up in the streets and then I just started rapping about it and making a you know, making a buzz just off rapping about what I'm doing. Everybody seen it and just you know what I'm saying, just gravitated to it. Right. Now tell me how did you come up with your rap name? I didn't. <clears throat> um my father name used to be Kurt Henney, like when he was younger, like they, that was his little name, nickname, whatever. So when I started, you know, jumping off the porch, all the older like, you know, guys from the projects that grew up with my dad used to call me Ty Henny. I just like, stop calling me that. I don't even like Hennessy. I was drinking Tangeray, like <laughs> sneaking Tangeray. So I'm like, stop calling me Hennessy. So they just kept calling me that. So I was just like, man, forget it, man. Fuck it. I'm just going to ride with it. Right. Now, how'd you get to rap? My dad rapped. He used to rap, so I used to want to rap. He brought me to the studio. Did a couple songs with him and all that. Like, then, um, after he died, I wasn't doing music no more. Like, you know what I'm saying? My older dude from the project, he heard me rapping with all the young kids. We was just high up and all, like, just rapping. And he walked by like, yo, you go rap? I'm like, yeah, I can do a little bit. And he's like, nah, you can take it serious. I was like, whatever. So he brought me to the studio, paid for my my first four hours, and I did some songs just for him. Like, it wasn't for nobody else but him. And he gave it to other people. Then next thing you know, I was working on a mixtape. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's how I started. That was the come up one. Right. Do you have any other inspirations? Any other artists that you look up to? Right now, only one right now I could say that I don't, I don't really ride with right now is me. Right, right. And that's and the he, only one. And he just dropped DC four today. Yeah, yeah. So how do you feel about that? I like it because you know what I'm saying I need everybody to get off this catchy music for them to feel what I got going on. Like you know what I'm saying he's not really trying to be catchy. He's just trying to get the point across like that. You know what I'm saying it's really black people out here making it. Like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and a lot of times people like to do radio, radio play music, right? Mm -hmm. What differentiates your sound versus what's on the radio right now? Just the lyrics. That's it. Like I'm making the same quality music. Like you feel me? Probably with the same people around the same producers or studios or whatever. It's just that you know the lyrics and that's it. Like I mean, I just got dirty raw words. You know what I'm saying? Just raw with the words. Mm -hmm. And what makes you different? Everything. Like, I don't do nothing like nobody else. I'm not trying to have some, the same melody. I don't have the same voices. Nobody, like, you know what I'm saying? Just, I'm just different, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm not coming in acting like I got a lot of money. I'm coming in telling everybody, like, listen, man, ain't nobody supporting my shit. Like, this shit's out of my own pocket. This shit is real, like, you know what I mean? I ain't, ain't nobody talking about throwing 40000 in the club, you know what I'm saying? So that's why everybody gonna feel it, like, you know what I'm saying? They gonna feel it, and when I get there, everybody gonna remember supporting me from the bottom, you know what I'm saying, just like we did me. Right. So let's get into the Come Up 3. Now tell me how many tracks are on there and what what's the collabs like? Um, I got about 12 tracks up there, I think 12 tracks. Um, I got a collab with Rich the Kid, um, Cap One, and Lord Scooter from Baltimore, rest in peace. And a couple, you know, of my own little cousin, LB and Shea Bell, they, they from Connecticut too, you know, they they with me on my team, so I had to throw them in the loop, you know what I mean? Nice, nice. So what, should, what do you expect when it drops on October 31st? Me? What I just expect? I, I never expect nothing, so <laughs> anything going to be great for me, like, you know what I mean? I just did it to do it, like, I'm just doing what I'm supposed to do, like, you know what I mean? So whatever I get back out of it, you know what I mean, whether it's, it's positive or negative, I did it. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm from, people ain't do this. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just happy to say I did it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, either way, I'm good. What's the lead single? Um, real good feeling. Um, that's I'm a, I'm gonna push that right now, probably for like another month, and then go into the next track, which is Prices, and then Banshee, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap that up. Nice, nice. Are you thinking about any other videos? 
directing anything like or are you doing videos for every song or maybe like no. a good few songs just a few songs mm -hmm. um i got a bigger project coming on coming after it you know what i mean so we gonna let the people they gonna decide how long it's in rotation you know what i'm saying like we not gonna force it on nobody too long we gonna let them eat it up and whenever they ready for something new i'm ready for to give it to them so you know what i'm saying that's it okay so what's next other than their next project and uh I'm not even going from, because of all this like social media stuff, a lot of stuff like going, you know, like when you go on Instagram and you be on people explore page, they take your idea when you're not as big, you ain't got a big as PR as them and you're not in a big market. So I don't like to talk about stuff I got coming in the future. I just like to let it happen. You know what I'm saying? Just being in my position right now. Okay. Do we expect at least like a show, a tour? I don't know. It's up to the people. You know what I'm saying? Like. We just doing what we doing. We just creating music. We gonna let them decide when if they want to see me in these in these cities, in these states. We going. You know what I'm saying? We not gonna set nothing up right now. Dope, dope. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me. Right. I'm really excited for your uh, project to thank come you. up free. So go get that October 31st. And thank you. <laughs> you <are. laughs>